In this lesson, we are going to learn how to classify open channel flows. There are four basic types of classifications for open channel flows. These are steady flow, unsteady flow, uniform flow, and non-uniform flow, and their combinations. When we are studying open channel flows, two properties of interest are going to be velocity and depth. So let's look at how these four classifications can treat velocity and depth. In the case of steady uniform flow, the velocity and the depth can be taken to be constant throughout a reach. This is because steady flow implies no change with respect to time, and uniform flow implies no change with respect to location. In the case of steady non-uniform flow, the velocity and the depth have to be taken as functions of location. In the case of unsteady uniform flow, the velocity and the depth can be taken as functions of time. And finally, in the case of unsteady non-uniform flow, both the velocity and the depth have to be taken as functions of both location and time. Within the steady non-uniform flow, assumption, there are several properties that we can also classify. First, if the elevation of the free surface changes very slowly across a length in a reach, we can classify it as gradually varied flow. Alternatively, if the elevation of a free surface changes rapidly, we can call it rapidly varied flow. If the depth of a channel decreases as you move downstream, we can classify it as accelerated non-uniform flow. This is because as you move downstream, the velocity of flow will increase, and a higher velocity means a shallower depth. Conversely, if the depth of flow increases as you move downstream, we can classify it as retarded non-uniform flow. And again, this happens because as you move downstream, the velocity decreases, which in turn increases the depth of flow. These four classifications, steady, unsteady, uniform, and non-uniform, have different levels of occurrence in nature. The simplest form, steady, uniform flow, rarely occurs in nature. In fact, I would say it almost never occurs in nature. However, this simplification is adequate for averaging the properties of very large water bodies. So civil engineers may use a steady uniform flow simulation to determine the average velocities and flow depths in large bodies such as the Mississippi River. Steady non-uniform flow is not that common in nature. However, it is possible to achieve, especially in a controlled setting such as a laboratory setting. This simplification is adequate for averaging both large and small water bodies, and it's used by civil engineers depending on the availability of flow data. Unsteady uniform flow is one form that rarely occurs in nature. In fact, it is so uncommon that we're not going to touch it at all in this class. And finally, unsteady non-uniform flow is the most common form occurring in nature. However, it is also the most difficult form to model. Usually, civil engineers can approximate unsteady non-uniform flow as a steady non-uniform flow. We can also model unsteady non-uniform flow using a quasi-steady model, which we will cover later in this class.